All right, we're going to talk about number six from the 2015 Calc AB exam. Um, and in this problem, you are given some implicit function, you're given its derivative, and you're asked a bunch of questions about it. So the first question, part A, um, we're going to use the derivative we were given. We're going to use the point negative 1, 1, and write the equation of the tangent line. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, first, I'm going to take the point negative 1, 1, plug it in. Um, that gives me a slope of 1 fourth. Then I'm going to write the equation of the tangent line. Um, in point slope form, and you just leave it in point slope form and move on, and that's part A. So, uh, good deal on that question. Uh, the next question is, I want to find um, the coordinates of all points on the curve at which the line tangent of the curve is vertical. So, if the tangent's vertical, that means that dy dx is undefined. If dy dx is undefined, what I really need is the denominator of dy dx, which is 3y squared minus x equals 0. Uh, technically, I also need y to not equal 0, which isn't going to come into play in this problem. Uh, if it did come into play, uh, I think you would need L'Hopital's rule, and that's beyond the AB curriculum. So um, that's a technicality, but really what we need to focus on is the denominator uh, equaling 0. So if that's the case, then x must be equal to 3y squared. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I know x is equal to 3y squared. I also I was given the implicit equation uh, y cubed minus 3xy equals 2. So if x equals 3y squared, and that thing is true, then I can sub in. So I'm going to get this. So y cubed minus the quantity 3y squared times y equals 2. Uh, it's kind of algebra 1 now. So we have uh, y equals negative 1. Um, if y equals negative 1, I'm going to go back up to where x equals 3y squared and use that to figure out what x is equal to. So x is equal to 3, so my ordered pair in this case is 3, negative 1. And the fact that y couldn't be 0 did not come into play, uh, which is good. Uh, the next part is to uh, find the second derivative at the point where uh, x equals negative 1 and y equals 1. I don't know why they didn't say at the point negative 1, 1, but they didn't. Um, so let's, let's do this. So I need the second derivative. So that's a quotient rule. So it's going to be the bottom. 3y squared minus x, times the derivative of the top, which is dy dx, minus the top, which is y, times the derivative of the bottom. So that's going to be 6y dy dx, don't forget the chain rule there, uh, minus 1, all over the bottom squared. So I've got that, and now I have a lot of stuff to plug in. So uh, x is negative 1, y is 1, and I know that uh, dy dx is 1 fourth from part a. Um, so remember, you're going to use your answer from part A, uh, kind of no matter how this shakes out. So let's uh, plug in. So the second derivative is given by subbing in all these values. Uh, it's given by that, which uh, I think technically you could actually just box that and move on. And uh, this one's kind of dangerous to simplify, so I'm going to simplify it anyway, uh, because I am not satisfied unless I have simplified my answer. Uh, so I get that the second derivative is 1 over 32 at that particular point. Um, so that's the entire question, and I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.